What up everybody? Again, it's T-Biz and we've got some more stuff to look at. Obviously, it's going to be Glios related since it's uh, predominantly, I guess, most stuff I've picked up lately is a lot of Glios stuff, amongst other things. But yeah, Glios, Glios related stuff. But today we're taking a look at uh, Toy Pizza's Knights of the Slice Old Night Meg figure, which is in this baggie, which is sealed, had been opened. Um, right here is, I believe, the... I don't know what you would call him, the Red Knight with on the with the nuke suit on. I was nuke suit because I kind of decked them out. It's, it's cool because they come out with these uh, different suits that you can get. I think right now they have the Bumblebee suit, but that might be sold out on their side. If you could look up Toy Pizza, really cool stuff. It's funny because uh, I was hanging out with Nicole a couple years ago, and there's the, this is the Rift Killer figure, which is cool. Very weird figure. I've got this figure, never appreciated it. Never, I uh, just kind of got it, held on to it, was whatever. And it's cool because he comes with the, this is, oh, let's knock out some reviews that never got knocked out. Okay. And he comes with the Rex Gannon head. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a weird sculpt. But yeah. But awesome. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And I think it's Jesse D'Astasio. Scopesies, I believe you can find him on. I forget who he is on Instagram, but that's the guy who sends me the stuff. And I followed him on Instagram before I knew completely what Knights of the Slice were and all that. And I was like, wow, I'm following the guy that creates these or sculpts them. Anyway, anyways, I might be right, I might be wrong. I think I'm right. Anyways, we're gonna check out this night. But what I was getting to that, uh, I was hanging out with Nicole at the coffee shop one day. I was talking to this uh, little kid that was in the friend of hers, son or something. That was into toy reviews and toys and stuff like that. And, and Nicole's like, yeah, Matt does toy reviews. I was like, yeah. And we started chatting about toys. And he's like, yeah, watch uh, Toy Pizza. And I was like, what's Toy Pizza? I don't even know what that is. And lo and behold, like a year later, I'm like checking out the uh, Toy Pizza Nights of the Slice stuff. So, yeah, pretty cool. But uh, anyhow, let's check this out because I've been wanting to get this figure for a while. I got it. And they have different variations. And different prices that come with different accessories and all that stuff and all that jazz. But right now I'm looking for a blade to open this thing up, which I don't think I have. But we're gonna. Oh, here we go. Got the trusty scissors. So let's. Oh man. Lord. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good lord. Man, sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, what a fail. What a fail. Man, but we're going to keep it rolling because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. But yeah. And there's the Old Night Meg. Really cool. Looks like a, it's got the pizza slice right there. But I really like this figure. It looks like a Star Wars figure. Really looks cool. Looks like the Death Star Gunner kind of helmet thing going. But, yeah, just really cool sculpt. I like the, how shiny this, uh, you don't even want, I wouldn't even want to paint this. It's, it looks just cool the way he is. Or it, she is, it is, whatever it is. He, I guess. Don't look at his boobs. But, yeah, cool. Just really wicked sculpt. Stand up. Well, I have a funny time standing up. But, it comes with some extra accessories, obviously. I love this big Hellboy looking hand, armor hand. This thing is cool. It's huge. Let's go ahead and put that on. Oh yeah. Obviously the Glios pegs. Which are the same standard pegs as you would have for all your Glios related figures. So yeah. It's a handy dandy little peg. And say if I lost this peg and I had a Warlords of War or a Battle Tribe or a Zul Beast or something like that or one of the God Beast stuff or O'Neill Design stuff, you can use all those pegs. So they're interchangeable. So yeah, there's that big clobber and claw hand. That there, not claw hand, but a armored hand, so that's cool. And then he's got a, I guess it's a, um, a cannon hand. And it's hard to see this because the, the overhead light that I got, that lamp really shines pretty good on this and get a really good shine off the armor but he's got a cool cannon hand so that's pretty cool that's pretty slick and here's a little thing for his sword little bandolier thing or whatever let's go ahead and get this on 
but yeah everything comes apart so that's pretty cool let me get this uh, cannon hand going wow that's pretty cool <laughs> this guy's rad and I was just uh, looking at the site and stuff for the toy pizza site and there's still so much stuff on there I'd like to get but man you can't spend you can only spend so much money on stuff you know it's like ugh. but man they have some cool stuff on there it's cool how they package this a little piece of plexiglass to keep my sword from uh, getting all whatever so that's awesome thank you everybody at toy pizza for that but yeah there's the sword really nice sword I like that sculpt on that sword let's uh, take a look at that for a second but yeah I like that I like swords <laughs> but it's cool so you put that right there and this dude's ready for battle that is cool got the cannon hand <laughs> clobbering hand that's awesome and with all these guys together they look pretty cool they make a pretty cool team a little, little top heavy with all this stuff but let's see if we can get them there we go but yeah they look cool so that's a look at the knights of the slice uh old meg knight which is really really cool dig them dig this figure this is really neat really really neat that is cool. I'm glad I finally opened this thing up and check it out. It looks really cool. Awesome. 